Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. Uh, this is for the element of air. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising for this weekend, uh, February the 1st through the 3rd, 2019. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. Uh, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Um, I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully uh, they do. And uh, let's go ahead and begin here. So central issue, heart of the matter, we have the king of wands, the chariot, ten of swords, page of wands, ace of swords, the sun, King of Cups and the Devil. Okay, so uh, it looks as if something had ended, um, or maybe you had stopped talking to someone. Maybe there has been silence. Uh, I feel that, too, as far as um, a, your car, uh, make sure to have your car checked because it looks like something could go dead, like a flat tire, dead battery, a light tail light, um, no gas. So something could be, there could be some sort of issue with, with your car. Um, it's like you could wake up in the morning to a flat tire or a very low tire. So um, I feel like you should focus or make sure that you're paying attention to your car. Um, maybe two, you could just be getting your car out the shop. Maybe your car was was dead or something or it was in a shop and now you could be getting it out. Um, I'm also seeing something in regards to a trip or traveling it looks like looks like there is a change of plans because of some sort of dis un, like two people weren't able to agree on something uh, or someone is kind of like you you're having a hard time making up your mind somebody is like I feel like there is some sort of dilemma could be some sort of power struggles there is a need for you to set boundaries. Don't allow someone to dictate to you. Um, don't let anyone try to tell you what to do. It, whatever it is that you need to put your foot down about, put your foot down about it and stand your ground here. Um, I feel that there is a need for you to like really speak up for yourself for something. I, I'm not quite sure what this is. That I'm channeling. I'm also getting something in regards to a dream. Something, something that you dreamed about. You might have a very vivid dream that has some sort of message in it for you. Um, that will make sense at a later date. But I feel like there's something significant in regards to a dream that you're having. I also feel that there is someone that is, it's like they have their eye on you. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, but this person, is, they look like they, they want to be with you. Uh, also, the two of these together could represent someone who has made some sort of decision. Um, it could be you, but it's like someone's decided to move forward with someone. Um, Maybe there was a change of plans. Maybe it took something to come to an end before they came forward and made a move on you. But I'm seeing some sort of flirtation. I'm seeing some sort of attraction. Uh, this person knows what they want. This person has a very strong sexual nature. This is someone also who is strong-willed. Um, this person is very dominating. It's hard to get them. It's hard to persuade them. This person is almost like the emperor, especially being next to the 
the chariot like this. Uh, this person has the those energies of the emperor. The emperor is very disciplined. You can't get the emperor to change his mind unless uh, he's he wants to change his mind. So this is someone who's very adamant about having things their way. Um, I'm looking at. I'm looking at something it also coming off as temptation. I'm seeing a, an age gap between people, maybe uh, like a large age gap, like somewhere between um, anywhere from maybe five, well, two, let's say we two at the lowest, but somewhere between two and two and 15 years. Like it's, it's a big age gap. Um, even if it's just two years, maybe that's a big deal to you, especially if you normally like older people. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's an age gap between two people. Both of these people are attracted to one another. Um, one person is acting kind of shy or like they don't know what they're doing, but I feel like it's just all a part of the game. Um... I also feel like there is going to be some sort of flirtation or communication between you and another person. Um, so if you're single, I'm definitely seeing options around you. Now also, this can very well relate to entrepreneurs. Those of you that want your own business, uh, if you don't have your own business, then wherever you work, it's like you are a leader. Where people come to you for advice or you give direction you you know you call all the shots uh, but I'm getting something like you're developing a new idea or you're in suddenly inspired uh, you all suddenly have some sort of clarity about a situation um, creatively you could be writing something you could be writing a script or you could be uh, I'm seeing too like like a motivational speaker. Also, you might be developing um, a, a passion for spirituality, like you're delving into more of spirituality. I'm um, I'm seeing too like the truth coming out about a situation. Uh, so if you were wondering about if someone was telling the truth, or if you were wondering if you were going to hear someone from someone. Uh, I feel like you're going to get uh, an answer, receive an answer, receive a message, news, um, uh, or even like a confession here. Um, also, you could be dealing with someone who's very popular or you yourself might be popular. Um... I'm seeing someone knows how to sing. Someone has a hidden talent or a hidden gift that they've been developing or working on and they want to show it to you or you have some sort of talent or gift and you want to show it to someone. Um, I see someone kind of coming off as this their time to shine. Uh, this is new, like someone is doing something for the first time. And people are going to be looking up at this person. Um, I don't know if you're going to some sort of concert or some sort of play or some or a movie even. And it's like this actor's first time. Or if you're going to a performance, it's the singer's first time on stage. I feel like something is somebody's first time. Uh, this is somebody's first. Even like... Not not virginity, although I might have some youthful viewers looking at this, but um, not someone's losing their virginity. But um, this is like when I was saying it's an age difference. Somebody might be like, oh, this is my first time being with someone this old or my first time being with someone this young. So I'm getting something in regards to someone's first time or like I'm new at this. This is all new to me um, and coming off as... Um, a first timer. Um, yeah, I'm seeing emotions being expressed here. Now, 
Now, you know what? I got something similar, like a similar message in the fire sign readings, I believe. So I don't know if any of you are linked to a fire sign uh, or someone who has strong fire in their chart, but um, it's looking like too, this is something in regards to role play. Like the only thing I don't like, I don't like the devil here because it makes me feel like someone that you are connected to, whether it's a supervisor, friend, boss, lover, somebody that you're connected to might have um, a, a dark side. Either they could have been, either something could have happened to them as a child. I'm not gonna go into detail because some people get offended when I go too much into detail, but you get what I'm trying to say. Either something happened to them as a ch child or they themselves have some sort of predatorial tendencies, uh, the thoughts. So be very careful of who you're getting involved with. Um, just only because I have like this innocent child looking image here and then this adult male figure here and then the, you know, the, the devil is next to this, the adult. So that, that's something that bothers me a little bit. Um, maybe this person has some sort of weird reputation. Um, I was going to say what I was seeing, what I saw in the fire sign. Now on a light note, it could be something, some, like I was saying, someone who just likes to role play. Um, or maybe somehow the role playing is part of their character, but that does that's not like all of their character. You know, so they like to role play, which explains the father child image here so like a the female might want to pretend like she's young or you know some sort of weird fantasy schoolgirl fantasy he might have um maybe it's just a fantasy but at the same time this person also has some other type of secret like or some other kind of codependency like maybe they just have a sexual addiction not necessarily a pedophile pedophile please god no you know nothing like that but um maybe just like they have they have a, an addiction to drugs alcohol sex or they're just codependent in their relationships very scorpion like uh possessive like a the 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 possessive side of scorpio and it is a water sign so um this could be a scorpio cancer or pisces um and but like with the devil next to it maybe it's just an excessive side of scorpio Someone who cares too much, someone who becomes so enraged with lust and passion that they don't want you to be with anyone else. They want to take care of you as if you are their child um, or this could be you. It's, it's like an, an excessive nurturing behavior. Um, also, I'm seeing this as the possibility of connecting with someone who has not yet left a relationship because whether, you know, it's a codependent relationship. So I've seen this when someone has moved on, but the ex is still controlling and possessive, um, especially if it's like a baby's mother or a baby's father, especially explaining a child. Um, but they become very jealous and possessive and they're, you know, even though you have told them to their face in, uh, in front of your current girlfriend or boyfriend, like, look, we don't go together. And they're constantly like, yes, we do. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, so someone with a, some sort of crazy, addictive, possessive behavior that you just can't shake. And it's like, they come along with the package. It's just like, well, damn, uh, it doesn't seem like they're going anywhere because this person is delusional and can't uh, accept the fact that, you know, there is no longer a relationship that something has ended. They still, they still won't let that person go. Uh, also, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sag, Cancer, uh, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, but yeah, I feel too that this is also coming off as maybe a uh, temptation as well. Uh, so maybe you're, especially if you're in a relationship, 
but you are strongly attracted to this person and this person keeps staring at you and you're like, would you stop staring at me? My boyfriend or my girlfriend is right there. But this person is steady staring at you and giving you dirty looks. And you are like, I wonder what it would be like. You know, they are cute. You know, what if we just kind of snuck out and or what would it be like? So I, I kind of feel like someone is coming off as temptation and it's almost like the first chance you get, you know, it's just like you hook up with them or kiss them or something because the attraction becomes overwhelming to the point where you just fall into temptation. Um, let me go ahead and uh, clarify a couple of things here. Let me clarify the devil. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with someone that is like an alcoholic, even if they're like a functioning alcoholic. Um, like this person always has a drink in their hand, like all day. Like they sip and drink all day. And they drink and drive. I'm also seeing something like a roadblock. Because the police might stop you. Be careful. Make sure you're legal this weekend. Because it does look like uh, the police might stop you for something. I'm staying in the house. Okay, so also the devil is coming. I'm seeing a couple of things. Uh, I'm seeing a devil as if you are in a codependent relationship or if you were, uh, this is being liberated from this person. Like you're being, especially because this, the Ten of Swords is here. So it could be that you're ending things with this person. Uh, or finalizing things or something, you know, it's just kind of you're being set free from this karmic contract here because this is this can be a relationship that becomes obsessive or possessive or or tox toxic. Um, also relating before I f finish with this, you could work in an environment around a bunch of uh, toxic people. Um people who are just really vibrating really low. And you might want to make sure that you try to keep your distance away from, you know, those people. But either way, like I was saying back to the sun, it looks like there's a possibility of being set free or liberated from that energy. Now, on the flip side, I can I also see this as coming clean with this person or this like some sort of confession or like the truth being put out into the open so it could be going back to temptation someone who's coming off as temptation and the both of you finally get a chance to come together and you're both admitting or confessing to one another that you're attracted to each other even though you shouldn't be so it could be some sort of forbidden situation, but you guys are both like making some sort of confession to one another. Um, I also see this as is there's some sort of unfinished business that you have with this this person here or this energy. Um, there's some this, I don't know. There's some sort of unfinished business. This is why they have come back around. Uh, I hate saying this too because I'm not trying to encourage this but also I feel like especially because the sun is out twice now this is like your soulmate even though it's a toxic person um, and that can happen because it, it could be for a lesson now not to say that just because it's a lesson this person can't heal and evolve or you can't heal and evolve um, but you know, it, it could very well be a lesson. This is something that happened to me. Um, hopefully this isn't saying that I'm going to hear from that person either. But um, 
I was with someone who in the beginning, um, I was so intoxicated by this person. Um, and you'll probably see me talking about it in like my very old videos when I, before I was doing the tarot readings. And um, there was someone that uh, I've known since childhood. Another thing the son could be talking about, you know, you've known this person for a very long time since childhood. But uh, I've known this person since childhood. And um, I knew this person was my soulmate. I still believe that person is my soulmate. Those of you that watched that Virgo video where I kind of broke down crying, um, it was that person. He just turned out to be a real monster um, because of his drinking. Uh, he's just he's just not he's completely different when he's when he's drinking and which is basically all the time all the time um so he has like a severe drinking problem which made him always a monster the only time he was sober is when he ran out and i would try to force him to dry himself out and it, it was it was bad you know it was it was bad when he would have those withdrawals but he he could never handle it for over a day it was always like i gotta i gotta have it i need something now you know so um i said that to say that i feel like even though it's a, a toxic connection this person it could still be your soulmate um now it might not be as bad it might not be as bad as my situation it might just be th just a simple indication that this person has a codependency or you know to, to alcohol uh, i've seen people who are functional drinkers that aren't so nasty but they they can't seem to put that alcohol down they just can't um and see that like i was saying about healing that i didn't know they could heal or evolve i do like how temperance is next to it because it looks like there is a possibility of healing. In fact, that could be the the reason why you're being connected to this person. It's almost like the conversation of the heavens are like, okay, uh, especially if you're a light worker, it's like, okay, so-and-so has evolved and they're at a place where they love themselves enough where they can be put in this situation and in turn help this person because they love themselves enough. They This person knows when to disconnect they know when they should keep going so because you have evolved because you have a certain level of knowledge now and especially self-love um now you can be kind of put into the line of fire with someone who might be kind of dangerous because spirit knows that you now know that you can you have the strength to disconnect from any time you feel yourself unhappy or if you feel like something just isn't working it's like look Okay, I know I'm a light worker, but you're not going to drain all of my energy. You know, enough with this narcissistic time for you to heal by yourself, and I'll continue to heal by myself for a while. So I feel like you're being put in this situation because you have the strength to handle it. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I kind of went off into relationship. Yeah, I, like the devil is showing. Wow, okay, this is weird. This is weird, okay, because it's like the devil is the devil, which is usually um, that lower energy, that toxic energy, but it's still saying here, well, it's, it's a couple of things. For one, like I was saying, it still could be like it's a baby's mom or baby's dad or someone who's still attached to another relationship, or like I was saying, otherwise, it's someone that you have the possibility of being long-term with. So it could play out either way. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, this looks like having security, having foundation, um, building together, expanding together. Ten of Cups. All of these cards surrounding the devil. All these clarifiers. Look at this. It's surround, the clarifiers are all positive. So maybe it's, you can't judge a book by its cover or maybe you can't just go off the surface of this there has got to be some sort of positive message. I'm not encouraging anyone to go off with a toxic person. Um, in fact, I say run. I don't care what I say. If somebody is beating you or verbally abusive, uh, putting you dead, get out of that. Don't stick around for no mess like that. Um, but I'm feeling like for whatever reason, you're going to be a very positive and healing influence on this person. Both of these are... All of these cards are, are positive and these are definitely speaking about healing. 
and being an influence and giving of yourself, showing someone unconditional love. This is also uh, a reflection card. It's not the lovers, but it's a reflection of maybe self-hatred or a reflection of fear. Um, you know, this is something that needs to be dealt with. So, and two, always keep in mind that people are a reflection of you. So even if you're like, uh-uh, I'm healed, that's not me. The, uh, this person is still a reflection of something within you that maybe is still something that needs a little tweaking. And the both of you coming together, you're going to be able to, to overcome that, to heal that, and finally move past some sort of past trauma or something. Um, so that is all that I have for uh, the air signs. I mean, I hope that resonated. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and many blessings to you.